Hey, welcome back to God Unblittered, everybody. If you are a college football fan, go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button. That is all we do here every single day. And don't forget to send gear to represent your team and yourself to be a part of my background forever. All you have to do is send your gear to P.O. Box 360, Liberty, South Carolina 29657. It can be a pennant, a cup, a t-shirt, a jersey, a sign, or my favorite, a mini helmet. Miami, Miami, Miami. Why, why don't you want to be good again? I, I don't understand it. I genuinely feel bad for Miami fans. This was setting up to be a, a special, special year for Miami. Possibly go undefeated. I mean, you started off strong, and your next opponent was a Texas A&M team who just got beat by Appalachian State. So it looked like it was a very winnable game. And if you look at the game stats itself... Miami had 392 offensive yards. Texas A&M had 264. Miami had 27 first downs. Texas A&M had 16. Miami's time of possession was 34 minutes and 20 seconds. Texas A&M's time of possession was 25 minutes and 40 seconds. All the stats were in your favor. But what happened? Well, you decided to miss some tackles at inopportune times. You muffed a punt, which directly led to a touchdown. It's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold, hold on, we're not ready for this. We're not ready to be the U again. That, that's really what it seems like. And, and this season, my God, look at your schedule. This schedule was setting up perfect. You were starting off 2-0. You were going on the road. Yes, tough road environment, number 24, Texas A&M. But they had just lost to Appalachian State. The schedule after this, group of five team, Middle Tennessee, should be an automatic win. North Carolina at home should be an automatic win. On the road to a terrible, terrible Virginia Tech should be an automatic win. Duke at home, of course, should be an automatic win. On the road to Virginia, they look terrible as well. Should be an automatic win. Florida State at home. Yes, Florida State is 3-0, but uh, they've barely scraped by. But 3-0 still at home should be a winnable game. I would have that as a lock. Then on the road to Georgia Tech, they're terrible. Should be a lock for a win. On the road to Clemson. Now, that's not a lock for a win. But Clemson looks bad. That looked like a winnable game. And then finally Pitt at home. That definitely should be a lock for a win. So really your only true test after this was on the road to Clemson. But of course, you stumble and fall even though you basically dominated the game statistically. Why, why don't you want to be good, Miami? Why? I don't understand it. I don't understand it. This was setting up perfectly. Not only to have a special season, but to be undefeated. I'm telling you, it, it's got to be rough to be a Miami fan right now. It has got to be rough to be a Miami fan. I mean, uh, imagine being a Miami fan going into this game. Wow, we thought this was going to be one of our toughest games of the entire year. But this team just lost to Appalachian State. We can definitely win this. And yeah, you should have won it. But for whatever reason, you didn't want to win it. I don't understand it. Somebody explain this to me. Now, I didn't get to watch the game because I was covering college football the entire day, and I was kind of bushwhacked by that time. So I decided to go to bed early. So I don't know the entire story of this game, but from what I've seen, from the highlights, from the stats, Miami dominated this game statistically, but for whatever reason, whenever it came to actually winning the game, they decided, nope, nope, whoa, 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 whoa. Get that W away from us. We are not ready to go on the road and beat a Texas A&M who just lost to Appalachian State and set up our season to possibly go undefeated. We're not ready. Take that W back. We'll take the L. We're comfortable with losing. That might be what it is. Miami has gotten comfortable with losing, and when they have an opportunity to have a special season, that makes them uncomfortable. They're, no, no, no. Back that off. We are okay with losing. We, we wouldn't know what to do if we won. We wouldn't know what to do if we won. Maybe that's the answer. Miami just, you wouldn't know what to do if you actually had a great team or a great season. I still think Miami has a good team. I had them in my top ten. I thought this was a for sure win. You let me down, Miami. You let me down. Why are you not okay with being great? I just don't understand it. Y'all let me know in the comments section. Maybe, maybe you can come up with some actual reasons why Miami doesn't want to be good. Maybe I'm missing something. Maybe I'm overlooking something. I don't know. It doesn't make sense to me. So give me some reasons that makes this make sense as to Miami isn't comfortable with the big win. 
I don't know. That's all I got for for this show. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you on my next show.